My name is LaWanda Thompson. Before I started for Behind Every Door, I was a resident living in Village Oaks Apartments with my son. The person you see sitting here now is not the person that was three years ago. I was, I was very deep into gang-related, fighting, uh, smoking weed, jumping people, just doing a lot. And I had a son, but my thinking, I didn't think straight because I was into the street life and I was into taking care of my son still being in the street life. So a lot of his ways he got from me. So I'm not gonna say I was a bad parent, but I wasn't the best parent I could be until one day I just came out and I noticed a lot of people outside uh, feeding everybody. They brought bounce houses. Uh, they had activity back to school and I saw it for like a week. And one day I just decided to walk up to ask the people, who are you and why are you doing this and what is the purpose? They started talking to me about the community center, one-on-one -on -one tutoring uh, and everything. So I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna get my son into that. But he kept getting in trouble. So I was like, you're not gonna mess up free tutoring, after school programming. You're not gonna mess all of that up. So I'm gonna go up there and volunteer every day. I started helping them with paperwork events, celebrations, till like the boss now, today, Will, he was like, you know, we got a job opening for you. And he said, you did such a good job here. And we see that you faithful to come in every day and you do practically everything. So we gonna help you get a job. And I started as the community director. After I got better with me, then it got better for my son. So um, Will, my boss, behind every door of ministry, some people used to be like, those people would not give up on you or your son. And I'm the type, it's me and my son, we're against the world, but I never knew that I had a whole ministry sitting on the sideline watching me. The ministry that, that took a lot of us from out the hood to places we thought we'd never go. It's not a father in his life. It's just me and it was my dad. So when my dad passed, it was just me and him. Now it's God, me, my son, and a ministry. So we grew from here to here.